All right, guys. Just finished watching WWE No Mercy. Now, a few things. First of all, if you hear noise in the background, that is because my PlayStation 4 is sleeping. Now, I just turned it off because I want to go check something. WWE 2K17 is currently being downloaded. It's going to take four hours to finish. So I figured, let me put on sleep. I already have a video coming out tomorrow. It's the final my career I'll ever upload in 2K16. And then, want to hit midnight, man. We all know what's going to go down. All I have to do is wait until it hits two, one, two, zero, zero. I swear to God, that's all I have to wait for. So let's get into No Mercy. Tonight's show was 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 just great. Just that there's two setbacks for me. It was the Alexa Bliss versus Naomi match, which I enjoyed, but at the same time it was like. Okay, and the main event, which I didn't think deserved to be the main event, was I didn't think I didn't think it should be the main event, which was Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. And to me, honestly, I think that Ziggler uh, and uh, and Miz should have main evented since the world title was the first match of the night. Now I understand the fucking presidential debate. Now honestly, I did tweet out saying, "Who gives a fuck about the debate? Who cares?" Fuck the debate. Debate means nothing. All right. It's it's Trump and Clinton. That's that's that, that that's bad enough already. Plus, America's fucked. We know that. There's no point. All right. So let's just chill and watch No Mercy. All right. So yeah, No Mercy. The show was great. And what else can I say? You know, like seriously, what else can I say? Uh, so the first match of the night, I did my reaction. I finally got it done, but now it's uh, like I edited it all together and stuff. Now it's gonna be, uh, you know, rendered and then it's gonna be uploading and processing all that stuff. Um, I'm just gonna go through that soon. So hopefully I'll be get. Uh, hopefully it'll be up before I uploaded. I upload this um, this uh, review and results, and I want to give a big, huge. Shout out again to the homie Mike Will 87 from Twitter because of the beautiful layout you guys see on the screen. Now, review and results. Was there any doubt that H.E. Styles was going to walk out WWE World Champion? To me, a tiny bit. You never know. WWE can just flip flop shit anytime they want. You know, it's not like we have the power to change shit. If we did, things for Monday Night Raw wouldn't be so shitty, you know? So, I'm just saying, uh, AJ Styles was going to walk in and walk out as champ. Uh, I, like I said in my pr uh, preview and predictions, I had no problem if John Cena walked out as 16-time world champion because he will tie it. He would have to break it by reaching 17. So, yeah, I I, I don't see don't I don't care at this point. Ric Flair said he don't mind it, so I I, I just don't care. If Ric Flair said, uh, fuck you, no, don't break my record, then okay, then I'll be like, okay, shoot, you know, like like last year I cared for some reason, but now the reason why I care because I feel like I didn't want to be I didn't want those people to come at me be like, oh, you don't understand. Oh, it's a legend, uh, record, uh, title reign. You do, I, I did research. It, you do know all of his 16 titles were not in WWE, right? You do know that it was all, like, all over the place. It's every other company he's been in back in the territory days and other places and stuff. The NWA world title, WCW, you know, only one time WWE champion. So remember that. Just saying. He's a one-time WWE champion. But they combine all the other titles for some reason. And bam. 16-time world champion. Woo. Ric Flair. So. Just saying. I mean. If they're going to do that. Then Kurt Angle must be a multi. Like around there. 16-time champion. I, I could be wrong. I'm going to have to do research on that shit. But still. I'm just saying. If you're going to add all world. Uh, if you're going to add a lot of championships. 
like a lot of world titles from different wrestling companies, then AJ Styles should be what? Former TNA World Champion multiple times, former IWGP Champion, now WWE. Champion. Like what? What is he? He should be about a five, six time champion, I think. Maybe I don't know. But anyways, like I said, I wouldn't. I didn't give a damn if he broke the record or tied the record at all. I didn't care. You know, Ambrose winning this match. I didn't. I was like, mm, I don't know. It's like, okay, he wins the title. Okay. So we have to go back to that again. You know, it felt like that to me. But the boy ex just using the no DQ rule to its advantage and just retains the title. Good on you, AJ Styles. So AJ Styles retains the title and that is that phenomenal beginning. Should have been the main event, but I understand why they did it. Fuck the debate. So, yeah. Um, the Usos versus Slater and Rhino for the tag team titles. Now, I, I did, I, at the beginning of the match, I was like, okay, here we go. And then in the middle of the match, I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to wait till the momentum start picking up. Then I'm going to start getting into the match, you know. So I'm just chilling. And then I got into the match. Right when, the, when I thought the Usos were going to win the tag team gold or the tag team dimes at this point, right? Or tag team platinum. Or tag team diamond, or silver, right? Silver, ah. well, yeah. So the tag team titles, I thought the Usos were gonna win right after uh, one of the Usos hit that drop kick to the back of the knee of Slater, and then they're gonna go for that tequila sunrise. He had it locked in. I thought Slater tapped. Like you guys saw him tap a little bit, right? Um, I'm surprised the referee didn't call it there, but no, he didn't, and. And then uh, Rhino came in. Uh, first of all, he he gored one of the Usos on the he gored Jimmy on the outside. And after he like knocked down Jay in the ring, and after it got the tag from Slater and gored uh, Jay, and then got the pinfall. So this time Rhino got the pin. Last month Slater got the pin. So okay, I got you. So Slater and Rhino still tag team champions. American Alpha probably was laughing their ass off in the back in, in the backstage area like ha. You guys beat us down for nothing. You got you got to where you are. You got a tag title match and you failed. Ha ha! You know, it, it was like that to me. That's what I think of American Alpha. What they're doing now is like we we want our match. It may be on the kickoff show, but we want our match. Where were you at? You were on the main show and you lost. You got gored. Fool! Like you know, like. So they retained the tag team titles. Usos were close. I feel like they might do a triple threat for the tag team titles. That's just my opinion. I think it's either going to be oh either that at Survivor Series. It's either going to be a triple threat uh, SmackDown Live tag team title match. Or it's going to be a traditional Survivor Series match. Featuring those three teams. I don't know how they're going to do it. But they're going to do it in some form. You know. that That's my prediction Heading into Survivor Series next month uh, in your boy's hometown. But I can't go. I'm not about spending like most of my paycheck on a fucking ticket. I'm not. NXT is possible. But not uh, Monday Night Raw or uh, Survivor Series. Just saying. But um, man, right after the this match... Sickler versus Miz. The thumbnail of this video. I can't believe what a match we got. This match was better than the match on SmackDown. This match was better than Backlash. This match was way better than any other match they've done in the past. This was the absolute best Ziggler versus Miz match I have ever seen. In the entire time they have had a match against each other. Tonight's show with that match. That should that that's my main event since that since the true main event was the first match of the night. That was my other main event. And I was I had a I had doubt that's that I had some doubt that Sigurd was not gonna win and Miss was gonna retain the title. 
But Dolph Ziggler got the job done. The Spirit Squad came through. Marie sprayed him in the eyes. Everything. Ziggler overcame the odds. John Cena style. Or Survivor Series 2014 style. And and survived. And was able to, to obtain the Intercontinental Championship. Congratulations Dolph Ziggler. I've done my reaction. It will be up. Hopefully, uh, maybe after this reviews up because my fucking internet connection when it comes to uploading videos right now uh, from my phone is so crappy right now. But if I can't get it uploaded after this video, after this review, then maybe I'll upload it tomorrow, you know. So, yeah. Ah, uh, what else? Everything else, I just tuned out. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm done. You know, Becky Lynch is not defending her title until November 8th, and that's it. All I kept thinking about after those two big matches, and after those three big matches, oh, Swagger versus Corbin. Um, I knew Corbin was going to win. The match was decent, you know. I enjoyed it in a way where, like, I paid attention at the end. You know, I'm like, okay, Swagger looks, okay, Swagger's outfit was not good with me, but that that's for another day. Um... You know, they went at it and poking the eye and then he suffered the end of days with the Nero. So that's what happened with Swagger. Suffered the end of days. I knew Baron Corbin was going to get his revenge after that bullshit call from the referee on SmackDown Live this past Tuesday. Just saying. Um, is there anything else I can remember off the top of my head? I can never remember these. Three hour shows are a curse. I can never remember... Ah, Jesus Christ. Um, Naomi fought Alexa Bliss. That's what I said that earlier. Uh, oh, what did I, I? I tweeted out this. I knew that Luke Harper was going to return and help. Now, I thought it was going to be in the form of a sister Abigail, you know, was going to come through and cost Randy Orton the match or like. No, so Sister Abigail, Sister Abigail was gonna come through and just send Luke Harper to help Bray Wyatt and have, or distract Randy Orton. What Bray Wyatt capitalized and won the match, right? Well, didn't happen like that. All it did was the Bray Wyatt effect came on, you know. And then after it came back on, Harper's in the ring. Orton's like, "The hell's going on?" He turns around, Sister Ab, one, two, three. Finally, Bray Wyatt's. Undef or sorry, Bray Wyatt's defeated streak has come to an end on pay-per-view. Finally, because you do know Bray Wyatt has not won the match since defeating Roman Reigns at Battleground last year. Remember that. So, besides that, and oh, it's funny because it's the same way how Bray Wyatt won this match with the help of Luke Harper. But Luke Harper distracted Randy Orton. He didn't touch him. You know, last year, he super kicked Roman Reigns, which left for Bray Wyatt to capitalize with the, with the sister Abigail. This year, he just standing there looking at Randy Orton like, what's good? Huh, what's good? Huh? You better turn around. And he turned around, sister Ab. So what do you guys think of No Mercy tonight? I honestly enjoyed it. It's just that there's some matches to me to fuck out. <laughs> but the rest of the show, I kept thinking about WWE 2K17. It's only less than 20, less or more. 24 hours to wait, man. I can't wait. Leave your comments down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe now for more fundamental to the app. Boy, 130 Gym. And I'll see you guys later. I am out. See ya.